What's uh, going on today, Anthony? We're pumping uh, three and a half big ones. Three and a half big yards? Customer. I'm just a pumper today. Nice. Yeah. That's the way I like it. I don't care. I just put it on the ground and I'm out of here. It doesn't really goddamn matter what happens. I mean, I, I care, but I mean, I'm pretty, easy, pretty easy day, huh? Yeah. 400 bucks. Nice. 20 minutes. Literally, it's going to take longer to wash out the pump. Yeah. Literally. How much hose? I don't know. It looks like about 100 feet, maybe. Let's Not bad. Pumper Caddy sent me these, complimentary there, so the hose, when it surges back and forth, it won't scratch, the clamp won't scratch the crap out of their driveway. They're pretty cool, and they slide around whichever way you want, or on corners. They work pretty good. There you go. With an Olin pump, it won't hold the prime. So if I fill this with water, and I don't lift this up, the water will just run down the hose. You'll be putting concrete in there. It'll catch up to the water and separate and plug. This is too long, the cells I had. So I put it in here, and then when I have the water, it'll stay in the hopper, and then when he starts dumping concrete in it, I just kick this out, and the water's sitting right where it should, and the concrete's right behind it. Peat gravel pumps, if you plug up in the manifold or you plug somewhere, it's got a jog switch where you can manually move the cylinders right here. I can move each side. I can put it on manual, and then I can move them. And you could jab it out of the back, like jab it and get it out into the hose and then un unplug it instead of unplugging it in the manifold. So it's really sweet. Prime it out about a little bit over half speed volume. 